I am Tejesh back with another video on fun math. Okay, today we are going to discuss about circles, part of circles called as tangent to a circle. I hope you all know what tangent. If not, let's see what it is. Okay, as you can see in the diagram, there is a point P on the circle. And a secant is drawn through Q. Secant means a line which passes through two points on a circle. It is called a secant. And if we take the Q nearer to P or if we take the point Q tends to P or approaches P, then the secant passes through a single point P, right? such line is called as a tangent to the circle or in another easy words secant means a line which passes through two points on the circle but tangent means the line passing through only one point on the circle and if you want to tell that in a sentence you can tell that like the tangent at point P is the limiting position, means we are approaching the position, right? So we can tell that like limiting position of a secant PQ, of a secant PQ, where Q tends to be along the circle, means it tends to be along the circle, means on the circle. And the point P is called as the contact of the tangent and the tangent is, we will just call it as tangent at point A as it passes through the point A. This is how you can tell that in sentence wise. Now, let's see the equation of the tangent and the point of contact of the tangent. Let's see. Okay, different forms of the equations of the tangent. Let's see different forms. Means like slope form. If the slope of the tangent is given. Or the point form. If the point or the coordinates of the contact of point. Point of contact are given. Or parametric forms. Means like using the angles. Let's see. First let's start by slope. Let's see the what is the theorem and let's see how can we prove that. Theorem. The equation of tangent of slope m to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. Means there is a circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. Then the equation of the tangent with slope m is y is equal to mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square. Okay, for proving this, there is an easy way. You can understand it by seeing this formula, right? Y is equal to mx plus and some value. Have you seen this equation somewhere before? This is the gradient form of a line or slope intercept form of a line, right? Here you may ask, where is the intercept? Here there is only slope and the radius of the circle. Okay? The first, in first term, the coordinate of x is m, right? That is the slope. We know that it is slope. And the second part, plus or minus a root 1 plus m square is the intercept. Let's see. How can we prove that first? The another formula is the coordinates of point of contact are plus or minus a m by root 1 plus m square minus plus a by root 1 plus m square means plus minus a m by root 1 plus m square means it can have either plus or minus and if x coordinate have plus then the y coordinate has minus if x coordinate has minus then the y coordinate will have plus okay let's see how can we prove that okay what is there in the first equation to prove what should we prove Okay, first we should prove that that is equation of the tangent. If you keep that side, it is in the form of gradient form. means slope intercept form. We know slope. Then what should we find? 
should just find the intercept, right? Now let's find the intercept. Okay, now how to calculate the intercept? It is calculate on the fact that y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to x square plus y square. It is a tangent to x square plus y square, right? Based on that condition, we can find that. Let's see. Y is equal to mx plus c is tangent to the circle, right? Then, length of perpendicular from center to that line, what will be that? It will be the radius, right? Because it is a tangent, means it touches to the circle. So, it would be radius. It will be equal to radius. Length of perpendicular from center 0, 0 to the line is the radius. Okay, what is the length of the perpendicular? We know how to calculate that, right? To calculate the length of perpendicular from center to the line, what should we do? We should do the constant term by square root of y coordinate, x coordinate square plus y coordinate square, right? How to calculate the constant term? For calculating constant term, take the equation of the line and substitute x value 0 and y value 0. If we substitute that mx minus y plus c is equal to 0, right? If we take all the, side, all the terms to one side, then mx means x is 0, means m into 0 minus y means it is also 0, we should substitute 0. Minus 0 plus c, c not have any x term or y term, right? So it is constant term, so we will get c. By square root of m square plus m square, the coordinate of x plus minus 1 whole square, means the coordinate of y whole square. And it is distance, right? So, we should keep modulus of that. Is equal to a. To be equal to a. Means, if we take off the modulus, then a will get the values of plus or minus. Means, c by root 1 plus m square is equal to plus or minus a. If you send 1 plus m square to the other side, c is equal to plus or minus a root 1 plus m square. Means substituting the value of c in y is equal to mx plus c, what would we get? y is equal to mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square, right? Which is the required equation of the tangent. But we should not call that equation of the tangent. We should call that like equations of the tangents. Because we have plus or minus. We will get two equations. And we will get two equations, right? For We will have two equations. Means for, equa for each equation, we will get one coordinate, right? So for mentioning two coordinates, those two coordinates will have plus or minus sign. Okay, how can we get that? We can simply solve the equations x square plus y square is equal to a square and y is equal to mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square. How can we solve that? Simply substitute the value of y. Substitute the value of y in the equation. Then you will get the x and y coordinates. Or you can solve it on your own, in on your own way. So the coordinates of the points of contact are, to solve the equation, you will get x as plus or minus am by root 1 plus m square. So it is the x coordinate. And y as minus plus a by root 1 plus m square. That is the y coordinate. The equation, the equations of tangents of slope m to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square and the equation of the tangent y is equal to mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square and the coordinates of point of intersection are plus or minus am by root 1 plus m square comma minus or plus a by root 1 plus m square now let's see point form if the point is given point of intersection of tangent on the circle or point of contact of tangent. First, before discussing the point form, let's see some important points. They are 
First, the remark 1 is that the equations of tangents of slope m to the circle x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square is given by. Let we just see for the circle which passes through the origin or which center of the circle as the origin. But if the center of the circle is the point a comma b, then the equation will be x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square where r represents the radius. What will be the equations of tangents for that line? Okay, that is y minus b is equal to m into x minus a plus or minus r root 1 plus m square. It is also same. You can solve it in the same way we did before. And the coordinates of point of contact will be a plus or minus m r by root 1 plus m square, b minus or plus r by root 1 plus m square. And the second one is that we saw for the circle with center and radius given, the circle with center as the origin. But we know the large form also of the circle, right? It is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. For that line, the equations are y plus f is equal to m into x plus g plus or minus square root of g square plus f square minus c into 1 plus m square. Okay, this is somewhat confusion, right? Okay, there is another algorithm to find the equation of the tangent. We will see that later. First, let's see point form. Point form of a tangent. Okay, the theorem is that the equation of tangent at point P x1 comma y1 to a circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is means the point and here the point this point is not the point of contact of the tangent it is just a point we are just finding if there will be any point P outside or on the circle then we will find the equation of tangent through that point and that equation is x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. Okay, this is somewhat confusion, right? Let's see how can we prove that. We will understand that easily. Let p x1 comma y1 be the point on the given circle. That is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. And let q is equal to x2 comma y2. Mean there is another point q on the circle which is x2 comma y2. And both those points lie on the circle, right? Means you can substitute those values. Means x1 value in place of x and y1 in place of y. And x2 in place of x and y2 in place of y. Then you will get the following equations. x1 square plus y1 square plus 2g x1 plus 2fy1 plus c is equal to 0. x2 square plus y2 square plus 2g x2 plus 2fy2 plus c is equal to 0. Let us imagine there are third and fourth equations. Second and third equations. If we subtract them, subtracting 3 from 2 means 2 minus 3. Then it will be x2 square minus x1 square plus y2 square minus y1 square plus 2g into x2 minus x1 plus 2f into y2 minus y1 c minus c it becomes 0 right so directly it is equal to 0 that implies and that implies x2 square minus x1 square mean that is x2 minus x1 into x2 plus x1 right and here 2g into x2 minus x1 you can take x2 minus x1 as common and it becomes x2 minus x1 into x2 plus x1 plus 2g plus y2 minus y1 into y2 plus y1 plus 2f is equal to 0 that means if we simplify that means send x2 minus x1 term to the other side and send x2 minus x1 to the denominator then you will get y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to, we will get the negative sign, right? 
we send x2 minus x1 term to the other side. So it will be negative of x2 plus x1 plus 2g by y2 plus y1 plus 2f. And if we simplify that, okay, what will be the equation of the second? We know the two point form, right? We know two points, P and Q. If two points are known, then the equation is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. From equation 4, what is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1? It is negative of x2 plus x1 plus 2g by y2 plus y1 plus 2f. If we substitute that, you will get the following equation. Let us imagine that as the fifth equation. Now, as q tends to p, q becomes p, then x2 becomes x1, right? x2 will tend to x1 and y2 will tend to y1. Means x2, is e x2 will be y1, x2 will be x1, y2 will be y1. So the secant pq becomes the tangent p. And what would be the equation? We should replace x2 with x1 and y2 with y1. Then you will get the following equation. y minus y1 is equal to minus of 2x1 plus 2g by 2y1 plus 2f into x minus x1. If we cancel out 2, you will get y2, y minus y1 is equal to minus of x1 plus g by y1 plus f into x minus x1. And if we simplify that, means send y1 term to the other side and x minus x1, y1 plus f to the other side and x minus x1 term to the other side. Then you will get the following equation. And if we simplify that, x1 X, x1 plus y y1 plus gx plus fy plus is equal to x1 squared plus y1 squared plus gx1 plus fy1. If we simplify that, we will get our required equation. We will get our required equation. Now, If we add g1x plus fy gx1 plus fy1 plus c on both sides, you will get x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1. Then, if we simplify that, xx1 plus yy1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0 based on equation number 2. And this is the required equation of tangent to tangent at x1 comma y1 to the circle. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Okay. And to write the equation to the tangent, we can use the following algorithm we are going to see now. First. You can find the equation of tangent when point is given in just three steps. First step, obtain the equation of the circle and coordinates of the given point. Let the point be x1, y1. It is simple, right? It, you can find that in the problem. And step 2 is, in the equation of the circle, substitute xx1 for x square, yy1 for y square, and x plus x1 by 2 for x and y plus y1 by 2 for y and keep the constant as such. Please leave the constant same and replace x squared with xx1, y squared with yy1 and x with x plus x1 by 2, y with y plus y1 by 2. This is also simple, right? Just substituting those values and these values are also easy to remember. And simplify the equation obtained in step 1 to get the equation of the required tangent. That's it. It is very simple process, right? You can use this algorithm if a point is given and you need the equation of the tangent. Next, parametric form. The equation of the tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. At point 
a cos theta comma a sin theta means the, a point is given that is a cos theta plus a sin theta where a is the radius of the circle and the equation of the tangent would be x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to a it is very simple to prove let's see using the point form of the tangent we know point form right we have point, right? So we can just substitute in the point form. If we substitute, you will get xa cos theta plus y a sin theta is equal to a square. If we take a common and cancel out, x cos theta plus y sin theta would be a. This is how to prove that very simple proof, right? And remark that is the equation of tangent to the circle x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square at point a plus r cos theta comma b plus r sin theta is x minus a cos theta plus y minus b sin theta is equal to r. Okay guys, subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this and ring that bell icon and not face you. If you have any doubts, comment down below.